The suspension of classes at UPNG comes at a time as the government is investing in PNG universities with the aim of producing better results, but the recent violent protests that lasted for at least two months had drew attention to the academic performances by each university in the country that is not always much talked about. The Higher Education Secretary, Professor David Kavanamur, has revealed the intention of the Higher Education Department to why suspending classes at UPNG was necessary. We buy an output from those institutions. We pay a certain amount of money and we expect a certain output to be produced according to certain quality standards. If the output is defective, the institution has a responsibility to compensate for that defect. And so, in this particular institution, the University of Papua New Guinea, and we, we're from where we sit, we appreciate the fact that they couldn't guarantee the quality of that output that they were selling to the sponsors. The problem has added more fuel to a backlog of issues involving a bringing of academic excellence at the university level that the country has failed to achieve over the years. While the higher education department worries about repairing the damages caused at the two universities during the protest, it is also concerned about bringing up the academic status of PNG universities to an acceptable level. But that is still a long way off for Papua New Guinea. Professor Governor Moore says. In the past, many of our students would just go straight into a master's degree, go straight into a PhD degree. But if you see that your students are going in there and they've been asked to sit for a master's qualifying or a PhD uh, qualifying, then we have a serious issue. Acquiring a degree or a master's degree requires not more than two weeks of consecutive absence from lectures, but at the University of Papua New Guinea, the unrest has forced students to miss classes for almost two months, and Professor Governor Moore says that doesn't comply with the international requirement to be a university graduate. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Kokopo.